Hello, welcome to new video and I will try to be brief as possible. This is the demonstration video for dynamic collision reports. This is a standalone application that could help you with managing uh, collisions on your project. So uh, the tool have two parts uh, and the first part is a project dashboard. You will see later. So uh, it will very easily show you how many collisions you have for all collision tests that you created um, and it will show in the table and the chart formation uh, and what is the core of this tool is those dynamic collision reports so for each clash test you will have, have a separate report and then we have a lot of features for those reports and that is why they are dynamic and what is very important in order to use this tool, you will need to have XML file as an input. XML file, it is uh, natively exported from the Navisworks. And before I actually show you uh, this product uh, and its features, let's just see how to export XML from the Navis. So over here, I did use a sample Autodesk file. I did export file from the Revit to the Navis. I did create a couple of uh, clash tests and now uh, I will export XML file uh, to my computer. My idea is to export only the collisions that I need to handle. So we pick all tests, we pick XML and write report. So now uh, if we run the tool, you can see user interface and because uh, the tool will show what is the name of your project uh, in those at, uh, HTML pages. Over here you can type uh, what is the name of your project. For now we can keep it to be a sample project. Now this field I will explain later when I show you the tool, uh, why it is important. Now we need to uh, choose XML file. And we also need to choose where we want to save HTML files. And that is it. The tool is very fast. In one or two seconds, it will create output files. So as you can see over here, I did run a tool a couple of days ago. So you can also use those reports to show some progress, to show some history. Uh, but whenever you run uh, the tool, the tool will create a new folder. In that folder, it will create one main page and in this clash test data, it will create additional page for each clash test. You do not need to track and search for those clash test pages. You can do everything from this main page. And now uh, we did uh, open this main page. You can also go to the full screen mode, of course, you can use the shortcuts in the browser, but of course, you can use this feature over here. Now, you can see over here the name of your project. That is why it was important that we type what is the name of the project. Uh, you will see the date when a report is generated. You will see the number of collisions and the total number of collisions for all clash tests. Over here, you can see graphically what clash test bring the most of the collisions and also below you have the height distribution uh, because for me it is very important that I start resolving uh, the collisions from the highest height and then to go to the lowest height because we are building uh, our buildings from the top to the bottom. And now why uh, that absolute uh, height was important? Because if your absolute height was, for example, 231 meters, you can say, okay, this is a zero for the building and this is one meter, two meters, three meters, and so on. But you can also run this again and put that absolute height and then you will actually see that clash distribution uh, 
for that relative height what how many collisions you have on four meters five meters and so on so let's let's do that let's run this one more time and put for the absolute height this uh, 231 meters So now you can see uh, what was the meaning of that uh, base uh, building height. And now you can see that we have some number of collisions on 12 meters, 16 and so on. And now if uh, you have some dominant clash test, for example, this construction versus planning, you can click on it and that clash test will not longer uh, be visible over here. Also, for example, this construction versus electrical. And now you will see only the remaining uh, clash test. Of course, you can always bring back those clash tests. So this is very simple but handy uh, project dashboard. And this is the first part of the tool. Uh, now we can also check the features and how those dynamic collision reports look like for each uh, clash test. For example, construction versus HVAC. When you click on it, uh, you will see all the collisions that you have uh, for this clash test and what is the first thing that you can spot is that the tool will actually group collisions so in the Navis works I didn't group those collisions but this tool will group and it will follow the logic if we have for this first element more elements uh, in this second uh, column it will group them together over here we have small number of collisions but for example you can see over here we will see the total number of collisions counting one by one but if we click on that collision we will actually see that we only have 30 collisions because everything is grouped so over here you will actually see the group collisions but on the main page you will see how many total collisions you have one element versus the other and again uh, over here uh, the tool did group the collision so this element make a collision with all those elements and when the tool does that when the tool tool group collisions for you it will also populate over here the comment uh, that this is grouped by dynamic collision report uh, that is the first thing now you can play uh, and now you can sort this in a way how you see that is needed of course over here again you can go to the full screen mode and what is the um, primary logic and what is the default logic for these reports is that uh, this page will be sorted by the height going from the highest to the lowest value because I will start resolving the collisions from top to the bottom of course you can sort this by any other column so and this is why this uh, report uh, it is dynamic because you can choose what is your priority and how you want to start dealing with those uh, collisions that is the first thing so you can sort you can type some comment um, over here you have this height slider so you can say that you only want to see uh, collisions from i don't know uh, 16 to 25 and then this tool will automatically filter out all other values so you can easily use this uh, slider for the height uh, filtration you can also use this search button so for example if you want to resolve all, all the collision that include this grid c5 ah, we have only one but let's say we could do we have more E4? So okay, now we did filter all collisions that are located in the grid E4. And this search button works not just for grids, but for all other fields. So we only have one this ID. But I know, let's say that we want to filter all the ducts. 
so round ducts do we have some other common name steel for example let's filter all steel or all concrete and you can play again and filter to to find your prior priorities and to solve that first uh, what is also uh, useful is that if you, for example, resolve this first collision, you can check it over here and automatically entire row uh, will be highlighted in green and you can say, okay, I also resolved this one and maybe, I don't know, for this one, which uh, we didn't uh, populate the comment before, you can say, okay, I did check this collision, but actually that collision need to be approved you do not have automatic that uh, this html will contact in navy works and change the status that is not included uh, in this tool but you can set for yourself uh, some comment and then maybe tomorrow or, or later today you can go to the navy and actually change the status of this collision but what is very good if you exit from this uh, from this page if you go to the main page and then you switch to some other collision or if you entirely close uh, this HTML when you open it again so when we open that main page again and that was that was construction versus plumbing everything will be saved so uh, those uh, collisions that we uh, just uh, marked will be saved and also our comment will be saved also if you uncheck some collisions and then close it and open it again that will also be saved so it's not checked anymore but that comment remain because we did not delete it or change it and i think that is it thank you for our attention bye